also mentioned that Tragedy was saying you were sort of responsible for CNN. No, but he's so, saying that because of the simple fact that if he didn't pursue the music again, he, he would have never been. had the encouragement okay. to even gotcha. start shit like that. Like, you understand what I'm saying? Because right, remember, right. um, Capone was from Queensbridge. Right. Nori was from Left Right. Left right. So, yep, yep. so it was like, you know, he uh, and, and Capone is actually Flush's cousin. But, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he 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 started putting them, you know, the rap shit, you know, like Capone started learning the rap shit from him. And you know what I'm saying? Like even 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 a a young kid at that time my age, well, he was a year younger than me, but um even a kid from that age started um learning from 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 trash too, you know, uh, a, a a young rapper by the name of Nasia, you know what I'm saying? And um, he and, he learned a lot from Trash, man. Learned how to write, learned how to everything from Trash. So, I mean, if you listen, if you listen, there's a lot of similarities there. So, at what point? What point does Nas come into that equation? Okay. Well, remember I told you I got kicked out of high school, right. and, I, and I went to Long Island City. Long high Island school. City. All right. Yep, yep. My man, my man Mel Corn, <laughs> that I was telling you about earlier, yep, yep. he lived in Ravenswood. That's when I hooked up with him. He lived in Ravenswood, which is the projects next to Queensbridge. Right. And um, he actually knew Nas and uh, and introduced me to Nas and boom, boom. I thought nothing to it. Like, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't rhyming. He didn't tell me, yo, this kid rhymed nothing. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to high school now, but I'm going to Molly's every weekend with Trash, working on the Intelligent Hullum album and working right. on certain shit. Here come this kid up to the high school. Every day, like he used to go up there, probably see see chicks and shit like that. But at the same time, he was going up there to wait till I came out to see if I if I even went to school that day. You know what I'm saying? And come out and he'd be like, "Yo, yo, what's up? You know, what up, Fatal?" Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's like, "Yo, um, what you want? You want you want you want trash work?" Because he was real like trash, 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 trash. Mm -hmm. Everybody like trash was like a you know legend in in, in Queensbridge. Like you know, even though even though. <coughs> Even though Shane came out, remember, Trash was the most lyrical one out of Queensbridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. Shane was dope, but, but you not, know what not, it was. Yeah. It wasn't lyrical. You know what I'm saying? Trash mm -hmm. was lyrical. So, you know, it was like tragedy was the G rap of Queensbridge. So um, he was like, yo, what the trash work on? What the trap with y'all work on? What did that work? Like, always trying to see if I had something to play for him. And I'd be like, the fuck is this kid that keep bothering me every fucking day? Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> then one day, one day, um, Mel Kwan came to me. He was like, yo, you in the music game? Boom, boom, boom. You messing with people. Um, Let's work on this kid's demo. And I'm like, okay, what kid? He was like, but, you know, you think you could take him into, into power play with the, on the Eric B time? And I'm like, nah, I can't take nobody in on, on somebody's time like that. And um, he was like, so I'm going to get some money. You get some money. And I'm like, <laughs> but now I don't want to like make Mel Kwan feel like like I just turned my back on people because now I'm I'm in the game. I don't right, want to make right, it right. like because remember me and him came up together like on some trying to be artist type shit. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I I I Mel Kwan, like you know what I'm saying? I get some money. I went back and borrowed money from my mother, like you know what I'm saying? And he bought it from his sister, his brother-in-law. And um I was like, okay, what, what are we going to studio? I'm not trying to work on that. He was like, no, 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 I got somebody. And I'm like, who? He was like, Nasia. And I'm like, not that kid. I'm like, come on, bro. Like, that kid's all like, no. you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 I'm like, this kid don't even talk. Like, he doesn't even project his voice to talk to me when he's always looking down when he talks to you. And he's like, nah, trust me, yo, the kick of rhyme, man. The kick of rhyme. I'm like, okay. <laughs> All right, let's see, bro. He was like, yo, get your man to give a beat, or you got... I'm like, I ain't got no beats, but I go to my man Large. So I went to Large. It wasn't Large. It was my man Paulie, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I don't want to keep saying Paulie. Yeah. So I was like, okay. I went to I went to Large, and I'm like, yo, I got this kid, man. He's, he's you know, because he rhymed to me, and I'm like, yo. I was like, yo, the kid's dope, man. The kid's dope. Um, Come to the studio. We're going to go to the studio in, in Brooklyn and shit. And he was like, word. He was like, um... But you know, he's already he's starting to work with Rock Hammond and shit now. So yeah, you know, he's so like, it's like I ain't got time for shit. I gotta finish my album. I gotta do this. I'm like, nigga, I'm the one that brought you into this shit. Like, I need you to come and do something with me. He was like, he was like, yo, 
take the disc, take the disc. He was like, find out if they got a 1200 at their studio. And I think they had on, no, they, they didn't have it. He was like, yo, take the fucking 1200, bro. Take it, take the discs and just fucking, I'm like, come on, man. He was like, yo, all you gotta do is do sequence one and two for the, for the, for the, for the, you know, for the chorus, go to sequence two for the verse, go back to sequence one and two for this, and then just work on drops here and there. So I'm like, come on, man, just fucking come. I'm gonna get the car. And he was like, all right, man, come on, man, let's go, let's go. So we go, I go pick up Nas, we go to Brooklyn. This shit, back in the days, this was fucking hella far that's to that's us. A, it was yeah, hella yeah. far in Brooklyn because it was like Bay Ridge or some shit. And we like, damn, like, where yeah. is this shit? Like, <laughs> so we go over there, we go into the studio. First of all, there's about a thousand dogs and cats in this fucking house, bro. Like, <laughs> it was like, what the fuck are we walking into? Like, the fucking ASPCA or some shit? Like, there was mad dogs, mad, like, couldn't breathe and shit. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> smell like mad wet dog and wet cats. And <laughs> we go up into the bedroom. That's where the studio is. So we like, man, this shit right here. We see mad guitars, man, shit. I'm like, okay. It's a rock and roll dude. We like, I right, we're, we're, we're the vocal booth at. Yeah, I'm used to now. Now I'm used to Molly's house. You know what I'm saying? Right, was, right, right, right. I've never been to like a home studio. I was always from the beginning. From the beginning, I went to Molly's house, Mar right, 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 and fucking Power Play Studios. Like I'm like, yeah, what yeah. This shit, this is a studio. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, I was privileged. So I'm like, what is this a studio? So he's like, he's like, yeah, the um, I was like, where the vocal booth? He was like, down in the basement. I said, down in the basement. I was like, he's like, yeah, I ran the wires downstairs, and, and we're looking through a camera. We, you know, he had like a little Radio Shack camera and shit, and we like, oh shit. So I'm like, all right, cool. So Paul still hasn't heard Nas. So he's like, all right, man, like, come on, let's, he was like, all right, come on, man. So boom, track this fucking beat, you know, track the beat, Nas is like, yeah. Nas goes downstairs, gets behind the mic. Nas spit some shit, bro. Everybody, everybody was like, what the fuck? So Lodge was like, Oh, nah, 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 nah. Fuck that beat. Erase that beat. Here, put this beat on that. Now you put on a good beat. Like, you some half ass shit before. Now he's like, nah, nah, fuck that. Use this beat. And recording, that was Nas's first demo, man. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you, you're responsible for that too. Man. Yeah. Yo, that's crazy, bro. Yeah, it's time, to tell, it's time to tell my story, man. It's time to tell a story. Man. That's insane. Now, quick, just before Sincere continues, though, um, throughout the years since that time that you took Nas and Large Pro together, does Nas acknowledge you at all since then up until now? Honestly, I don't know. One documentary I heard he sold crack to pay for his studio time. You know, another, another interview I heard, uh, yeah, this kid around the way named fatal mm. you know what i'm saying i mean he acknowledges me when he sees me right you know but you know but not, yeah, okay i got you my my yeah. bank account has never like not yeah it hasn't been yeah, acknowledged yeah, yeah. never never you know been. um one last but thing. it's not only it's not only the point of doing that it gets even deeper than that it it gets into the being alive at the barbecue. It gets into the uh both of us being picked up by MC Search and and me reneging on a deal with Search and Search already having a deal on the table with Columbia for me had to deliver something. It goes, you know what I'm saying? It goes into a lot, you know, a lot of things. There's a lot of more things that haven't been touched that you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I'm not, you know, his skill impeccable you know what i'm saying would he have ever made it yeah of course he would have made it would it have been at the same time frame maybe not right right you know what right, i'm saying right. right right maybe not maybe maybe um i'm not gonna say i made nas i didn't make nas um was i responsible for the process for the ball to start rolling nas? yes right, right right was i responsible for the time frame that it happened in yes I can say that. People might disagree, but I can say yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, and when right. I tell the story, people will be like, hmm, there's there's a possibility of that. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? 
I think that for a lot of us that have heard of you and know about you, it's there's not a question, there's not a doubt. I mean, that what you're saying is facts. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, maybe to some others that you know don't really know, that don't really know, and, I mean, and they listen, just man. know the I you mean, know, I mean, finally, finally, um, on Vlad, yeah, fuck Vlad, but on yeah, Vlad, yeah, yeah. um, Large Pro did an interview on Vlad, on, on Vlad. That he actually he laid it came out. out and said, "This is the man that's responsible." You know what I'm saying? I was thinking that when you said that. You watched it? Y'all watched that? Yeah, 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 yeah. That so, Yeah, I think I think Large was the one that truly finally came out, and you know, finally came out and said it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. On Vlad. So I got one, one other question. Then I'm gonna give it back to Sincere. So we recently Why, had you, all... you, you, you're stumped now. You're like, oh no, shit. no, 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 no. <laughs> I, this is not my first time. I, like I said, I, 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 I've known who you are for a long time, so I'm familiar yeah, yeah. with the stories. Yeah. Um, but I was just gonna ask you. We recently had on uh, producer self service, right? And he has a similar story when it comes to producing. For a lot of big artists and not really getting the credit and others who 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 self-service self-service oh okay, 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 okay. Self -service. yeah yeah but he has like a similar story of you know producing and others taking the credit for it yeah yeah so i just wanted to ask you though do you because he feels that for example when certain people have that a certain name and fame to them is the reason why people like self-service and maybe even like yourself don't really get mentioned because it takes away from <laughs> because it doesn't listen, listen, like listen, like like I tell people, I don't blame certain people for shit like that. Mm -hmm. Now, 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 now. I don't know if this is where you're going with it, but um we just I was just talking about the other day about I just wanted your take on it. I, just I was just talking about Jay Z. Yeah. And me and Jay, I go back with Jay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I know Jay. I can sit down here and have conversations. We can have conversations. Mm -hmm. about people we know and things that we've done and things that we know people, you know what I'm saying? Like we can have like more mm -hmm. than a five minute conversation. We can sit down here and talk for a couple of hours. Right, 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 right. You know, and not even on some music shit, on some personal just, shit. Just, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now, right. if Jay sees me now, will he have more than a 30 second conversation with me? I don't blame him though. He's on a different level now. You understand what I'm saying? Will he right. acknowledge me? Yes, he'll acknowledge me. Will he keep? Will he keep it moving? Yes, he will keep it moving. Right, you understand? Right. Unless yeah. I'm up at the office and I walk by his his office and he'd be like, "Yo, Fatal, come in here for a second. We might talk for a minute or two. But still, again, he has a certain image to. Yeah, and yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. on that level. I'm not DJ Khaled. I am not this one. I'm not that one where he'll, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, won't mind being seen having conversations with me. Right, you understand right, what right, I'm right. saying? I'm not saying he would be ashamed of me, no. But right, right, right. he's on a different level. And when you're on a level like that, mm -hmm. you have to pick and choose who you're going to talk to. He doesn't talk to some of his artists anymore. You understand mm. what I'm saying? Because he's on a different level. He can't, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he can't be seen sitting down at a table talking with beans again. Like, it, just, <laughs> it can't happen. Right, right, right. Even though I, I can, I commend, um, I commend, um, what's his name, man? Yeezy, man, for what he, what he, you know, yeah, for acknowledging him and giving him a percentage that, of that, that money and all yeah, of that. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I'm saying? yeah, yeah. Because he yeah. was like, man, you the one that called me Yeezy. Right, like right. these just wouldn't be named easy if it wasn't for you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now I think that's commendable. You know what I'm saying? Now, am I still waiting for certain people to come out and say, "Man, you know what? All the bullshit." Now I didn't made it to this level. I'm making hundreds, hundreds of millions on Bitcoin and this and this and that. I'm over. I'm opening up pharmaceutical companies. You know what? Doesn't matter what you think anymore. You know what? This man right here was the man that really fucking brought me in. Mm -hmm. Right, right. You know, I'm not talking about who, but <laughs> yeah, we got it. We got it. You know it. what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I think now would be the right time. Not when you see me every couple of years, be like, "Yo, Fatal, you good?" I don't know how to read. Pat. I'm not good with 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 gray area. 
Mm -hmm. I'm not good at reading between lines and shit because I'm such a black and white person. Like, you understand what I'm saying? Like, if this is the way it is, that's the way it is. If this is what I want to say, that's what I'm going to say. That's why a lot of people don't get along with me because I have no filter. I have no, like, there's no gray area. I don't know how to play the game. I don't know how to play the game. Right. If you wear something like my wife wears something and I don't like the way it looks on her, I'm going to tell her, I don't, that shit make you look fat. Or that shit make you look fat. Like, I'm not the type that'll be like, if you like it, I love it. Like, no, I'm not that type. Right. Tell me what I want to hear. Like, don't tell me what I want to hear. Tell me what I need to hear. So that kind of sounds like one, uh, maybe that might be also a reason why some of these certain people choose to not to leave certain things out of the story because they know but that that person. Think, but then they would think when they think this motherfucker's going to expose it. Like, let, I'm going to have to say it because if not, he's going to expose it. But I, yeah, I've done I a good know. job at not exposing it like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, yeah, I've done yeah, a good yeah. job where, like, you know what? <sighs> I think I believe too much in, you know, Integrity. karma and stuff like that. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, listen, I, I've even I've even tried to convince myself that I was actually maybe put on this earth as an angel. Like, <laughs> okay. you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm yeah, trying yeah, to convince yeah. myself all types of ways. Like, I'm really an angel. And I'm really meant to be people's, you know, like I'm like L.A. Y. And with the Orishas, I'm I'm meant to be the the, the, the <laughs> yeah, keeper yeah. of the crossroads. Like, you know what I'm saying? No, you go that way. No, you go that way. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, this is yeah, the way, yeah. you know. And, and I'm I really believe in all of that. So you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 you know, I'm like maybe maybe I'm I'm a reincarnate. You know that maybe that's why I'm L.A. Y's son because I take on his traits. My job is to play tricks on people, give people their you know their road to go on and. I mean, there's a lot of other artists, bro. 